Hey, it's Kip K with another smoking weekend project. I love fire. I love making things blow up, sometimes on purpose, sometimes by accident. Well, let's do a project for you pyromaniacs out there. No, not this, but a fireball shooter. And this is from Make Volume 13, and you'll find it on page 88. All right, here's what you're gonna need. A half inch aluminum or copper rod. I chose an aluminum one because it's lighter. Get your hacksaw out and let's hack away at it down to about three inches in length. Then you may want to sand the ends. You're also going to need a quarter inch by 28 nut. You're going to need a 1.5 volt glow plug. I got mine at Theater Effects and I also got some flash cotton and flash paper at Theater Effects. You're also going to need two mini zip ties, a small momentary switch, a half inch strip of heat shrink tubing, a butt splice, a AA battery holder and a AA battery. And you're gonna need some JB weld. Go ahead and uh, mix up the two colors, mix them up thoroughly, and then apply a generous amount to one end of the tubing and attach your nut. Now you're gonna probably let this sit overnight to make sure it's hardened and uh, this will never come apart. And go ahead and take your glow plug and screw it into your nut. Don't screw it all the way down. Uh, just put it in finger tight for now. And then go ahead and slip on the heat shrink tubing and trim the end. Then after trimming the black wire for the battery holder, you're going to see how we're going to mount the switch to the very end of the battery holder using some hot glue. Make your solder connections with another piece of black wire. And you're going to take that end and wrap it between the nut and the glow plug. And then go ahead and tighten down the glow plug so you've got a nice solid ground. Then take your mini zip ties and you're going to loop them through the back part of the AA battery holder and also make your final solder connection with your negative line to your switch. Okay, remember our butt splice? Well, we're going to stick that on the very end of the glow plug. That's where we're going to make our final connection with our red line from our AA battery holder. Take about a quarter sheet of flash paper, maybe a little bit less, roll it up into a ball. Now take a very small piece of flash cotton. Put the flash cotton in, put the flash paper in, then I use the eraser side of a pencil and slowly and carefully push it down into your shooter. And now the test results. Using different mounts of flash paper will give you different results. I've had it shoot about 10 feet across the room. And there you go, you've made a fireball shooter.